Hi guys, Silver Soul Fox here with your November Witch's Roots. Let's get straight into the unboxing. I'm due for some good happiness. I didn't catch the theme this month. Here's what it looks like. Just gonna set it right back here and get some paperwork out. Oh, this is cool. So we're doing the Astrology Collection. And there's our items. First thing I see. Looks like a really cool bookmark. It's got all of the astrological doohickeys on there. Isn't that pretty cool? I like that. Nice bookmark. I can always use bookmarks. Card that was chosen for me. I flow towards my goal. I am strongly protected as I go. Waning Crescent. Beautiful card. Very nice. That's out of the main deck that we all received. Oh, this is awesome. Check out the Zodiac artwork. This is beautiful. Oh, I love that. It's got like the, the wheel here. All the sign symbols, the names, and then which signs under the air, earth, fire, and water, and then a little bit about them. That is just gorgeous. See up close there, what I'm talking about. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. It's very cool. And then skull cap. Nice. Beautiful. Soft blue flowers on there. Sorry about the glare. Plastic is something awful. Okay, so skull cap's going to be our herb, which I see a big old stack of it right here. We've got our skull cap from the herbal cabinet. Give it a sniff. I love my herbs. Ah. Mm, yeah, has that pungent skull cap smell there. You can see the tiny little flowerets in there. That's cool. And then next I see a little dark maroon sachet. Get it opened up here. Oh, beautiful stone. It's peach. It's very pretty. Oh, and it has rainbows. I love rainbows. I don't know how close up I can get that. It's beautiful. I like that. That's beautiful. I'll have to look and see what that one is. I'm not going to guess. It might be a quartz. It might be a peach moonstone. Who knows? They'll tell us, I'm sure. And then this says Zodiac Guide Ritual Tea Bags. Hmm. Oh, and it has the tea inside the little bag here. See? Look at that. That's very cool. First time for that. It's already got the tea in there. You get two, two servings of the Zodiac Guide. Tea already in the bag. Very nice, very cool, first time for that. And then we have our Celestial Myrrh. Oh, who doesn't love myrrh, right? Mm. Oh gosh, it smells so yummy. We might have to fire one of those bad boys up before we get done with this. And of course, our candle. Let's see what our little candle might be this time. I'm hoping for something cool. The black went pretty quick last time <laughs> for me. Oh, now this is just gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell, but this one is glittery. Look at that sparkle. And it's like a smoke gray. Oh, gorgeous. Love all the glitter. <laughs> very, very cool. I like that. Glittery candle there. Oh, and it is glittery. Oh, yay! And the big item. This just made my day. <laughs> With all the squiggles here. Sorry about that. A little bit of astrology. The book, hard book, an introduction to the zodiac. Colin Bedell, Bedell, however you pronounce that, sorry. 
It is a little bit of astrology. Sterling Ethics. Curious about astrology? There we go. I'll hold that up there in case you want to see what that says. Take a deeper look at the zodiac and find out what it can reveal in this accessible introduction. Astrology is an ancient art in which the movements of the stars and planets are used to help divine the future. Learn about its history, consult an overview of each sun sign, and find out how to create and use a natal chart to craft personalized horoscopes. Yes, I know. A little bit, not a lot. I have so much to learn. Um, this book looks very cool in depth. Very nice. I wasn't expecting a book, so this is great. I love this. My first book, Through the Roots. So, wow. Yeah, Witches Roots killed it this month for me. I'm into astrology. I, I am a Sun Taurus, Moon Scorpio, and Rising Leo. So, a little bit of opposition going on there. <laughs> okay, let's get our paperwork here. <clears throat> Skull cap was our herb and our artwork. It was gorgeous. I just need to find out a little bit about that stone. I think that's pretty much the only thing we weren't sure of. Okay, it is a yellow or golden adventuring. See, I would have been wrong. Yellow or golden adventuring. Very nice. That's a pretty stone. I like that stone. Very pretty. Yeah. Tumbled yellow golden adventuring. Activate the solar plexus. Reawaken our personal will. Yes. It assists us in creating, manifesting, focusing, and understanding. As you work through the messages of the zodiac, allow this stone to be your companion. I will do so. I don't own any of that, so that's very nice. Give it a little cleansing and welcome it to the family. Oh, thank you so much, Witches Roots. I really love this collection. The candle is also called Starlight. That little sparkle, I just love it. A little something extra, you know. Starlight mini spell candle, hand rolled, um, with the intention of inspiring you to visualize your connection with the stars and planetary energies. Makes sense. Very nice. As you allow the flame to dance before you, Take time to clearly speak your intentions or requests. Yes, that's going to be cool to work with that all together. The skull cap, a little bit about the skull cap herb itself. Um, let's see, I don't want to have to read all of it because there is a lot of it. Um, and ability to relieve anxiety and tension energetically it is provides the same benefits to our spiritual and magical work include skull cap into herbal bath mixtures to bring relief from stressful experiences allowing yourself to cut the ties of worry and overthinking in addition to its ability to bring calm and restorative energies to our work skull cap has the strength to push away all negativity from our space Purifying our surroundings. Yes. Skullcap is a wonderful pre-ritual herb to include within incenses or blends to be used in preparation for study, shadow work, or meditation. You can burn Skullcap in collaboration with sages and barks to clear your mind for astrology work or zodiacal studies. There you have it. Okay. I would have to say my favorite is going to be the astrology artwork in the book. So I'm digging it. I really am. I hope you guys enjoyed my little unboxing. Look at that artwork one more time. How sweet it was. I got a bit of a kitty fight starting up. I don't know if you can hear her growling, but they just don't get along sometimes. We all have bad days. But anyway, that's it for my little unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed the Witch's Roots for November. There it is. Have a magical day. Thanks for watching.